Odds are is back. Pete Souza, Corey Dickman, the Benjamin Betts podcast. How did we do last week? Dude, we did really well. Two and one in college. Two and one in the NFL. Okay, four and two. For those that counting, that, that's, you could have a gambling profession in Vegas. Now, 66%. On, on the season with four and two, how are we? Uh, you know, come back to me next week. Okay. And I'll, I'll have to look. We are still above 500. Yeah, so we've made money. Be. We've made yeah, money. We've made we're money. we're fine. Be. All right, let's keep making money. We start now with college football this week, and we start close to home with the Aggies. All right. Fighting Texas Ags. Casey Summy, my girl. She my <laughs> Aggie. Uh, they didn't do so well last week, and we did pick them to lose. This week, they're coming back. Plus three. I think they even cover, or, or they can win the game outright, yeah. but let's give us a little cushion against uh, Tennessee. It's a great stadium. I've been there. Really yeah. cool environment in Rocky Top. Uh, I think A&M, they hang with them. Plus three, give me the Aggies. And if you want to live dangerously and roll the dice, you can do plus 140. We right? can roll the dice, yeah. yes. For them to win. All yeah. right, next game as we move on. You're looking for a shootout in this one. Uh, yeah, so we're Oregon going, and Washington. Oregon and Washington. Going back across the country. Big rivalry growing up. This was always uh, Oregon never wanted to lose this game yes. against the Huskies. Uh, I, again, I don't know. This could go either way. An eighth team versus seventh team. Very close. Yeah. Just give me points, man. They're going to score bananas in this game, Pete. Uh, 67 and a half. I know so we're going over 67 over. and a half. Over. 68 or more will win you. I know it's a ton of points, but it, yeah. it, it's college, man. There's going to be a lot of points scored. Fourth Especially quarter will have like 30 in, in, points. In these Pac-12 shootouts, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. All right, now let's get to the last one on the docket. We have a later night affair. Miami and North Carolina. Talk to me about okay. why you took North Carolina Minus four points. If you're getting your 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 you know your uh, your afternoon snack now or whatever you're doing, you got to go to YouTube and just go to the my just Google you know Miami fumble. Miami this, meltdown. Miami whatever. meltdown. This will come up. The coach should have taken a knee. He didn't. They ran a play. Fumble. <laughs> other team launches a touchdown for the win. Just a heartbreaking way to lose. Yeah. I think that that's going to come into this game, and those players aren't going to be ready. North Carolina is playing well. Give me them minus four, so they have to win by more than four, but they will, and we'll hit this bet, and you'll make some money, and we'll make money. I like how you're going upstairs for the mind games. We're it's going tough upstairs. to recover. It is tough to recover. These like are kids. That. Like, yeah. we forget these are college kids. Like, they are kids. They're not going to bounce back maybe as quickly as others. All right, now we go to the grown men. Okay, grown NFL. men. NFL. I am all about the momentum in this. And the Bears looked like doo-doo for the first four <laughs> weeks of the season. They are cooking now. You take the Vikings, they're not playing well. They yeah. lost their best player. Justin Jefferson's out for four or five weeks. So the Bears are going to roll. The fact that they're not favorites, mind-blowing to me. But give me plus two and a half. Justin Fields. They're going to win this Kirk game. Kirk Cousins seems like a great guy, but oh. I mean, we've given him a lifetime pass dude, as quarterback. Kirk is a lifetime pass, yeah. but Kirk, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know, yeah, yeah, it's I don't time know. for the, the, the uh, accountability <laughs> meter to start, start moving on him. Okay. But everybody, the Raiders seem to always end up on my either national television game or they feel, I feel like I've seen a lot of Raiders. You like them this week or you like the under this week between them and the Patriots? I like the under. I, I, don't, I don't think the Patriots could score on you and I if we were playing defense. <laughs> and the Raiders, you know, played the Packers last week, put up 17 points. That's not a lot of points. Yeah. So under 41 and a half. This is like almost a lock, Pete. Like you and I should fly to Vegas for this game <laughs> and put a bet because this, this is not going to happen. In person. In person, under yeah. 41 and a half. Half. All right, so we got one more, and of course, we keep it back to Texas. We take it back to Texas. <sighs> Cowboys and Chargers on Monday night? Yeah, Monday night. Monday night. The boys got embarrassed, and, and I know it, to hear it sucks. I get it. They got embarrassed, they but the Cowboys will bounce back because, like, they do. They win, they lose, they win, they lose, they win, they lose. <laughs> so they lost last week. They're going to win this week, minus two and a half. The Chargers are unpredictable. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I think Prescott has a fantastic game. I think it's. A, I think he shows week. us that he's a veteran with Moxie. I totally agree. How about the fact too? We were talking about before we started. It's going to be. You may be a Cowboys fan who plans on taking the trip out there. It's going to be a sea of Cowboys fans. Oh, dude, that whole stadium. It's going to yeah. feel like this is a Jerry World, and then yeah. you're going to look up and be like, Oh wait, we're in L.A. Like the Chargers yeah. and the Rams still can't figure out how to draw mm -hmm. there. So we look at the Cowboys to take advantage of that. All right, anything else? Man, I, I, I'm just so excited. I love being back. I missed yeah. last week. I, I cried. Yeah. I cried that I wasn't here with you, Pete. Well, and after four and two, we cried too. Oh, so, tears of joy. Corey Dickman, Benjamin Betts Podcast, Rogue Media Network. We'll see you next week. Next week. All right.